scallions, jalapenos. The executive chef for the governor's mansion rolls out some turkey meatballs, demonstrating one use for the versatile meat, a meat that the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina has in regularly. Alongside First Lady of our state, Kristen Cooper. For most of us, summer is a really happy time, and you know, here we're out of school, but for some kids, it just means some months from then they're not going to be able to eat. The 34 counties the food bank hosts, 600,000 people are without enough food. Of that number, one in three are children. We have a large percentage of our children who get a sometimes a majority of their calories from their free or reduced lunch and breakfast at their schools, and when schools are out. But that goes unmet. This the launch of the Stop Summer Hunger Initiative. Our children not getting the free and reduced price breakfast and lunches uh, that they get at school, but families' budgets are stretched even more thin in the summer. Child care costs, providing that extra food that the kids aren't getting any longer. Volunteers here sorting thousands of pounds of potatoes in the back. Fresh produce, a key item to those who will be fed via the food bank. For every one dollar donated this summer, the food bank stretches it to ten. Now, if you want to help out your neighbors, you can do one of three things. One, you can always donate food. The second thing that you can do is donate your time, like these volunteers are doing here. Or thirdly, you can donate money. Foodline contributing $20,000. Of course, you don't have to give that much. Every dollar counts.